Prince Harry talk about the palace's memoir will not have expected. Harry said he was excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Prince Harry did not have to ask his grandmother Queen Elizabeth for permission to write his accurate and wholly truthful memoir, but he did give the royal family a heads up. Penguin Random House announced on Monday that the Duke of Sussex is writing a memoir that's scheduled to be released in late 2022. Prince Harry spoke privately with the royal family regarding the book's publication very recently. The spokesperson added that Harry would not be expected to obtain permission from Buckingham Palace for the project. Buckingham Palace declined to comment, any clarification about the book would be a question for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I am writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become, said Harry in a statement on Monday. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. He continued, I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Proceeds from the book and audiobook which will cover his childhood in the public eye, his military duty in Afghanistan, and his journey to becoming a husband to Meghan Markle and father to Archie and Lily but Diana, one month will be donated to charity. Prince Harry isn't the first member of the royal family to share his story. Edward Duke of Windsor who was Queen Elizabeth's uncle and had been coronated King Edward VIII. Before abdicating the throne in 1936 so he could marry American Wallace Simpson produced a ghost-written biography titled A King's Story. The memoirs of the Duke of Windsor in 1951. The memoir recalled his royal upbringing and schooling. Leading up to falling in love with the American Divorcee and ultimately giving up the position as monarch. When news broke that Prince Harry is writing a memoir that will give the definitive account of the experiences, adventures, losses, and life lessons that have helped shape him, the biggest question on everyone's mind was whether or not the young royal had to ask his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, for permission. He did not though he did alert the royal family that he was planning to tell his story in a private conversation. Buckingham Palace declined to comment further, telling the outlet. Any clarification about the book would be a question for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. News of Prince Harry's upcoming untitled memoir surfaced Monday, when Penguin Random House announced that the Duke of Sussex would be penning a book that detailed his life in the public eye. From his childhood as a royal to his military duties in Afghanistan to his relationship with his wife, Meghan. Its publication is scheduled for 2022 and proceeds from both a memoir and the forthcoming audiobook will be donated to charity. I am writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become, Harry said in a statement. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. He continued, I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far, and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Harry's memoir marks the latest addition to the couple's foray into the world of publishing. Markel's own debut, a children's book called The Bench, is due out in July 2022. The Duchess of Sussex loves her quasi-era shoes she has a number of styles and even wore them to announce her engagement and on her royal wedding day. Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice have been spotted in a quasira, too, and Eugenie even owns the very same strappy pair as Meghan. One of our favorite pairs is the Aquasira Denouve bow tie pump, you know, the chick black shoes with a cute bow on the back. Meghan has worn them countless times at events ranging from friends' weddings to royal engagements, whether accessorizing designer dresses or jeans. Megan's strappy aquasia of very matured heels with a crisscross front are also among her favorites. She wore them long before she met Prince Harry and sparked a mass sellout with her favorite neutral bear, which she wore for her and Prince Harry's engagement announcement. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.